Hello students my name is Alok Semwal and in today's lecture I will discuss principle and instrumentation of high performance liquid chromatography So the principle of separation in HPLC is adsorption as well as partition If the stationary phase is solid it is called adsorption chromatography and if the stationary phase is liquid it is called partition chromatography so when a mixture of components are introduced in a hplc column they travel according to their relative affinities towards the stationary phase affinity is the tendency of a chemical species such as an atom or molecule to react with another to form a chemical compound it denotes the degree to which a substance tends to combine with another so the compounds which has more affinity towards this adsorbent travels slower the compound which has less affinity towards the stationary phase travels faster since no two compounds have same affinity towards the stationary phase the components are separated now we will discuss instrumentation of hplc system first of all types of hplc techniques hplc techniques are of two types normal phase HPLC and reverse phase HPLC In normal phase HPLC polar stationary phase is used It is usually column filled with tiny particles of silica Solvent used is nonpolar for example hexane Column dimensions used in normal phase chromatography are internal diameter of 1 mm to 50 mm and length of column in between 20 mm to 500 mm. In case of normal phase HPLC, column affinity is for polar compounds. This is because polar stationary phase has affinity for polar compounds. so polar compounds in the mixture being passed through the column will stick longer to the polar silica than non polar compounds will so the non polar ones will therefore pass more quickly through the column next type is reverse phase hplc as the name suggests in reverse phase chromatography non polar stationary phase is used Polar stationary phase is made non-polar by attaching long hydrocarbon chains to its surface. In reverse phase chromatography, polar solvent is used. For example, mixture of water and alcohol such as methanol. Here column dimensions are internal diameter of 1 mm to 50 mm and length of 20 mm to 500 mm. In case of reverse phase HPLC column affinity is for nonpolar compounds This is because nonpolar stationary phase has affinity for nonpolar compounds Thus the polar compounds will pass more quickly through the column So the total summary is in normal phase chromatography stationary phase used is polar while mobile phase used is non polar in nature in reverse phase chromatography stationary phase used is non polar and mobile phase used is polar in nature next is instrumentation of hplc system hplc instrument contains following parts first mobile phase reservoir 
सेकेंड इंजेक्टर सिस्टम थर्ड कॉलम एंड फोर्थ डिटेक्टर फ्यू अदर पार्ट्स आर पंप वेस्ट डिस्पोजल सिस्टम एंड द रिकॉर्डर दिस डायग्राम इज शोइंग कंप्लीट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ऑफ एच पी एल सी हेयर यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट सॉल्वेंट रिजर्वर सिस्टम नेक्स्ट पंप नेक्स्ट वन इज सैंपल इंजेक्टर सिस्टम देन कॉलम डिटेक्टर एंड रीड आउट सिस्टम The purification takes place in the column. The stationary phase is a granular material with very small porous particle size packed in a column. The mobile phase used is a solvent or solvent picture which is forced at a very high pressure through the separating column. This is usually done by the use of a pump. The sample is injected into the mobile phase flow from the pump to the separating column using a micro syringe. In the complete process, the individual components of the sample migrate through the column at different rates because of their varying affinities towards the stationary phase. After leaving the column, the individual substances are detected by the suitable detector. recorder system records it and display unit displays the graph graph is usually in the form of chromatogram the chromatogram allows the identification and quantification of the different substances now first part of hplc system is mobile phase reservoir These reservoirs are manufactured of high quality borosilicate glass for maximum chemical resistance. Reservoirs are coated with plastic for safety and UV resistance. Generally, two types of techniques are used for the handling of mobile phase. First, isocratic system operation and second, gradient technique. Isocratic means that the mixture of your mobile phase is consistent over the complete testing time. So in this technique, mobile phase either a pure solvent or a mixture remains the same throughout the run. Second technique is gradient technique. Now in the gradient technique mobile phase composition changes during the separation As the separation proceeds the elution strength of the mobile phase is increased to elute the more strongly retained sample components This technique is useful for samples that contain compounds having a wide range of chromatographic polarities Second part of the HPLC system is injector. An HPLC injector allows the introduction of a precise sample volume onto the column. Here in these diagrams you can see injector system used in HPLC. An injector system is composed of a sample holder unit and a micro syringe in hplc injector is placed next to the pump the simplest method is to use a micro syringe 
and the sample is introduced to the flow of eluent. The most widely used injection method is based on sampling loops. These are sampling loops. The use of the auto sampler is also widely used that allows repeated injections in a set scheduled timing. Third and the most important part of the HPLC system is column. The separation is performed inside the column. The recent columns are often prepared of stainless steel material instead of glass columns. This is because stainless is tolerant towards a large variety of solvents. The packing material generally used is silica or polymer gels compared to calcium carbonate. Usual column dimensions are length 20 mm to 500 mm and internal diameter 1 mm to 50 mm. To optimize output, mobile phase flow rates must increase in proportion to cross-sectional area. The element used for liquid chromatography varies from acidic to basic solvents. Next is mechanical separating power or efficiency of the column. Column's mechanical separating power is determined by the column length and the particle size. Mechanical separation power or efficiency is often measured and compared by a plate number which is represented by symbol N. Small, smaller particle chromatographic beds have higher efficiency and higher back pressure. Increasing column length as well as smaller particle size results in increase in mechanical separating power. But this also have some negative effects like longer chromatographic run times, greater solvent consumption and higher back pressure. Now we can understand mechanical separating power by this example. This diagram is showing various chromatograms obtained from different types of columns. Here in this case, increase in column length from 50 mm to 100 mm results in better separation of components as you can observe in this picture. Same, decrease in particle size of the stationary phase from 5 micron to 1.7 micron also results in better separation of components. Identification and characterization of compounds through HPLC. Identification and characterization of compound through HPLC is done by the measurement of retention time. Retention time is the time taken for a particular compound to travel through the column to the detector. This time is measured from the time at which the sample is injected to the point at which the display shows a maximum peak height for that compound. Basis of separation is different compounds have different retention times. Now HPLC separation modes or separations based on polarity. In HPLC separations are based on polarity characteristics of the solvent and the components. Here in this diagram, you can see the polarity characteristics of the solvents as well as the sample. For example, water is a polar solvent while benzene is a non-polar solvent. 
Now in case of compounds, salts, acids and alcohols are polar molecules. While aromatic compounds, fluorinated compounds and aliphatic compounds having hydrocarbons are non-polar molecules. Molecules with similar chromatographic polarity tend to be attracted to each other while those with dissimilar polarity exhibit much weaker attraction. This becomes the basis for chromatographic separation modes based on polarity. Another way to think of this is by the familiar analogy oil and water. Oil is a non-polar compound while water is polar in nature. And because they have different polarities, they do not mix. Now that's all for today. In the next class, we will discuss detectors used in HPLC and applications of HPLC. Thank you.